Camera, action! Oh my god, the heretic, y'all. The heretic. Shout out to Hugh Grant. Shout out to Hugh Grant. One of the main reasons why I wanted to see this movie was because of him. The rom-com legend <laughs> going into the horror. Horror. Psychological thriller. Yeah. But I was pissed because I had a lot of expectations for this movie and they weren't met. <laughs> we'll get into it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. When he first showed me the trailer, like a few weeks ago, I was like, I'm locked in because, like we said, it's fucking Hugh Grant. Right. That right, man right. can act his fucking ass off, you know? Um, He's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. Yeah, OG, for real. I didn't realize it was an A24 movie, but as soon as we You did? No. As soon as we ah, sat down. Okay, okay, okay. As soon as we sat down and like the movie started playing, I saw like the first shot. I'm like, oh, this is an A24 movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. This that shit. This yeah. that shit. And once like that set in my mind, I was like, alright. Um, it's probably not gonna be that scary for real. It's gonna be more existential than anything. Mm -hmm. and, like, because a lot of their movies are more about conversations than anything. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. In, in honesty, how I feel about movies, that's what they all are. Yeah. Most of them are just conversations. And like, I'm getting you to talk about this through the vein of this nigga with a chainsaw type of thing. Yeah, whatever catalyst they're exactly, trying to use. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So that's why I, didn't, I guess I don't have too many expectations on shit like that because, like, uh, a lot of these writers and directors just want to talk about shit, you know? Like, yeah. We really just want to talk. That's why we make movies in the first place. So I, I can't have too many strong feelings about, like, genres and stuff like that because, like, for me, I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to say I don't care about horror. Yeah. But, like, I have more passion for, like, comedies and, like, action movies and shit like that, for real, you know? So I feel like, you. I feel you. I feel you. I'm a horror junkie. I like horror movies. I'm not even gonna lie. But, continue. <laughs> I mean, that's that's really it, you know? It's like, I I appreciate a lot of the themes they were bringing up about, like, God and, like, religion. Yeah. And just, like, what the fuck we all really doing here, for real? Because I don't think most of us think about that enough. And that shit I've been thinking about a lot since I was a fucking kid. Right, 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 right. As a nigga who, like, dad forced him to go to church a lot. <laughs> you know? So, Everybody. Sunday, Wednesday, Wednesday Friday, Friday, extra Saturday. days, sometimes extra Thursdays. days, choir practice, just that and the third. I'm one of the only people I know that have sleepovers at a church. Like, legitimately. I'm yeah. not, I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like organized religion and shit. Shout out to the sleepovers at the Shout church, though. This right? fucking right. weird. You had something, you had something. Just fucking weird. <laughs> it's just fucking weird. It no, it really is weird. though. It was just weird. Why are we in? Let me, let me, I, like, let me go home to my pay. bed. Y'all pay rent, bro. Like, go sleep in your fucking house. I'm sorry. <laughs> how was the? How was the? How was the breakfast? There wasn't none. There wasn't none. Niggas just got up, prayed some more. After a night of praying, I'm talking about four or five hours of praying all night. Y'all prayed hungry, nigga. Well, y'all ain't no. Y'all ain't had no crackers or nothing. So when you ask me about God and shit Damn. like that, I'm just looking at a bunch of poor people reveling and being poor around each other. I got some fucking questions. I'm not mad at your say. <laughs> I just have some fucking questions. You got PTSD a little bit. I ain't you know mad at saying? it though. Like, like, I, I, you prayed hungry. That's just, that's not cool. <laughs> that's not cool. Hey, we all know that church hunger sitting at church. Wait. Hey, you like two o'clock on Sunday and you still in church and you just get that 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 hunger pain and you just like ugh, it's just sitting there. He just waiting, everybody still catching the Holy Ghost. I'm like, Mom, I'm hungry. <laughs> Nigga, well, I'm hungry. <laughs> Can we go? We would go to church with our lights off type shit. And like, I'm looking at my dad, ask for God to like, for help and shit. I'm like, Nigga, get off your fucking ass. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't, there's some things, it's like, I, it, it, it'd be hard to feel like, like something is there for real, but like someone's there and like he has all this power yeah. that we want to give him when like, we are responsible for so many things that go on here and that have ha had gone on on planet Earth. No, nah, we don't. I feel like we don't take enough accountability At as all. human beings. <laughs> At all. For sure. Uh, I do have this one memory of my grandma. I remember she gave her last $20 <laughs> to put in the collection plate. And I was fire hot because <laughs> I knew that was her last $20 to put in the collection plate. And she was just praying. She was like, so she said something to the face. Like, He'll bless me. I'm just looking like, 
Grandma, that's your last twenty dollars though. Like I don't know, that don't that don't seem too too logical in my eyes, to be honest with you. Like, but you know, it always worked out. But still, you know, I feel like are these the best decisions we should be making? The best depiction of God, or like that my dad ever gave me, and I stay with this to this day, even though I just said all that shit. It's like, yeah, you could pray all day, you know. You can pray for God to protect you, but like if you run out into the middle of the street and you get hit by a car, you can't ask God why he didn't protect you from the car if you run out into the middle of heavy traffic. You know yeah, I mean? no, it's like no, 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 no. A lot of shit in life, our decisions are the heavy traffic, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, we can't really be safe from those type of things. Like, it's not to say that miracles don't exist or like God doesn't exist, but I don't know how much power he actually has over what the fuck goes on here. I feel like, I feel like, uh, I feel like God is like a He's a he's a he's a grantor of things. Like so, you know, you like I wanna be strong, all right? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put your ass in situations where you're gonna have to be learn how to be strong and be wise and be all these things that you asking for on a consistent basis every day that you're praying for yeah. that you say you want. Are you sure you really want it? Sure. <laughs> I mean, but I feel like I feel like the best way we can see God is through nature, like outside, like because that's we had we had no control over that, we had no bearing over that. We that was just that was here before we got here. Yeah. So that's that's how I see God. I get that. Like for real, for real. It's that, but for me, it's also like music and TV too, because like a lot of that shit to me is just fucking magic. Like you're telling me we created like. Visual, even how people are gonna be watching this. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like through invisible waves in the air. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I like, feel like I feel like God is like the two things God gave us was free will and creativity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, that's it. Just like he created things out there, we create things, like we create this video, this YouTube, like that's that's pretty much all we have is free will and creativity and what whatever after that that's just up to you and your decision making yeah that's and that's life that's it because I feel like if if God was an entity like a living thinking breathing being and then he, that thing decided to like put itself into all of its creations there would be no physical entity left you know what I mean mm. like okay, if, okay, we, okay. if we're all like if you all have a piece of God in us, everything, like, from the trees to you to me, like, even some of this couch, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no physical entity to be praying to. It's already inside you. Yeah, it's no, like, no, no. It's, it's, I, you know? I don't want to get too deep into it, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say that because it was in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Basically, he was saying, Hugh Grant, in the movie, he's basically saying people are just manipulating other people. Yes. And that's, that's pretty much what we see what he was saying in the movie. Um, but let's go back, cause when I first saw the trailer, <laughs> let's go back. When I first saw the trailer, I was mesmerized. I was like, "Ooh, a religious movie, a religious horror thriller, or whatever movie." Um, I think the thing. Remember, I texted you. Mm -hmm. It was one character that it didn't get flushed out into the movie. The thing that dropped the ball for me was the house. The house? The house. The oh. house is a character, yes. and I feel like that character did not get flushed out into the movie enough because that, that, that's what sold the trailer for me. Mm -hmm. That's what sold this movie for me. One being seeing Hugh Grant, uh, evil ass Hugh Grant, uh, this is going to be dope as fuck. A24. Yeah. In a cool ass house that you get to see the like the zoomed out shot after the like damn near at the end of the trailer. I'm looking like, oh shit, what we can do with this house? Because it did make it seem like it was more of like a maze type of thing. Yeah, like, they were just gonna be like 
traveling deeper into the house. Yeah, and then I, I feel like, oh, he gonna eat phase of the house or whatever. He's like, oh, we're gonna test your religion, your faith, or whatever the fuck. Cause I'm they, thinking like, hey, I would've had motherfuckers chopping off their arms or some something. They even referenced Dante's Inferno. So it's like, it makes more sense of like, yeah. that's how it be. And I don't get the whole point of him having like the model of the house that's like not actually one for one. Of yeah. What the under of the house looks like. We literally saw like two parts of the house. Well, three. Mm -hmm. The living room, uh, the back room, his, uh, basically his fake church or whatever, yeah. and then that the lair. The basement. The basement. Yeah. That was it. That was, I'm looking like, nah, this ain't, this, this is not what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't go into movies expecting too much, I like to be unbiased and just have a clear head, but nah, I, I wasn't, I was like, nah, that was a letdown for real. <sighs> that, I feel like the problem comes with like how people label shit, you know? And, like, yeah. What people feel they have to do to get niggas to go watch movies in the first place. Because yeah, like, yeah. if you believe in what you wrote and what you filmed, edited and everything like that, just be honest. Yeah. And say like, you know, like we kind of just want to have a conversation about God and religion and like why so many of you are kind of fucked up about this thing that you don't even know if real is real or not. Do you think they did a good job in Conveying their message without about without being too heavy-handed. I think so. If like, because I, I don't think they did. Good. I think they did a a good job to a certain point. Then it was just like it was starting to be yes overbearing. It's like okay, we got the message like thirty minutes ago. No, the problem is, I think like that plays into the message a little bit because like uh, essentially. His character, Hugh Grant, is he just went down, he drove himself mad. Yeah. Trying to find and. The one true pick religion, yeah, yeah. To him, what will be the one true religion. Right. And when he started realizing, it's like religion as a, a construct is just a source of control. Yeah. Like anything else, people have been used to, like people are using to, like, get people to do what the fuck they want. Right. You know what I mean? Like even. It's manipulation. It's manipulation yeah. at the end of the day. Manipulation in itself is not a bad thing. You know, it's like yeah, to what extent? Um, materials were, were manipulated to create this table. Materials were manipulated to create the camera that we're recording on. Like the act of manipulation is just like taking something and like. What about manipulating a spirit, a human being? That's is usually inherently malicious because that goes against free will. <laughs> yes. I'm not saying like re like manipulation in religion isn't wrong. It is. Yeah. What I'm saying is like it may also be necessary to a certain extent. I'm not going to hold you. A lot of us walking around should not be thinking for ourselves. <laughs> a lot of you need Jesus. Like, a lot of us need a higher power, need something keeping us in check. I will say like, this. Yeah, you are right. I will say this. I feel like religion is a school. And when you're ready to graduate from school, mm -hmm. and, like, be uh, be a lot more open-minded. Yes. Because a lot of people say they're open-minded, and they have open-minded ideas to other things and other aspects of life. And even their friends might be like one way and they're open open minded to that but when it comes to like religion they're not even it's just like nah this is how i'm raised mm -hmm. but it's just like this you you you're being a hypocrite to your own beliefs and your own yes. your own your own structure so which one is it you know either you're gonna move this way or that way i i think to like to embody what it is it just takes a level of work that most people aren't willing to do because like most people only use religion as a way to get over the bad things in their life. They're yeah. Not, they're not using it as like, like you said, a tool to teach themselves how to grow and be a better person. Yeah, it's, it's good. Cause I mean, it teaches you structure and all that. But I think the main thing is, it's like at the end of the day, it's really just being, a, being it's really like being accountable for your own self. I mean, once you graduate and like, once you graduate outside of it, like the real thing is, being your own spirit, being knowing, knowing how to uh, be accountable for yourself, knowing being your own power system per, mm -hmm. per se, 
and just being just being wise like just like nah go going external searching for things instead of going internal and like searching for things and solving things like that yeah. I think a lot of people extend themselves out too much like, hey, I'm going to give $20 so God can bless me. It was like, no, no. Everything that you need is, like is, that. Is, is right here in you. You just need to make the right decisions and be wise and be a smart spirit and not just be like, oh, I'm going to go pay this man, do this. Uh, nah, that don't even make any sense. Stop, stop following other people's thoughts and templates of how they got shit set up for you. Follow, be creative. Creativity, free will, use those two things mm -hmm. and move in, in, in this world. I think I think it goes back to what you what you're saying about if they like really like did a good job conveying the message in the movie. Yeah. And it's like yes and no. You know, because yeah. Hugh Grant is a, like if you get like the type of character that he's playing, it's like, oh, he's just crazy. Yeah. He's literally yeah. just yeah. crazy. He's, There's he not was... much bearing to like what he has going on. Like this is just something that he does and like this nigga needs to be put down. Yeah, nah. <laughs> no. He was he was gassed out from the from the moment he got on screen. He was just like I've been in this basement for thirty years straight, done read every book, every page, every sentence. And I ain't still found no fucking answer. He was he was actually mad. He was he was, he was angry. Upset. He was angry. That's what it was. It was anger. <laughs> it was anger. It was anger. It was anger. Basically. But I don't think, like, I don't want people to think that, like, it's anger towards, like, well, mm, I don't know why they didn't choose the route of, like, just making up a fake, like, first religion type of thing, because I think that would have been a lot more beneficial to their point. Yeah. Uh, or the, just, like, the themes of the movie, honestly. The first half was perfect. That's what, I, that's what, that's really the dialogue. Yeah. It, I didn't mind the dialogue. The dialogue was beautiful, actually. It was. But then at a certain point, it was just like the pacing, and it was just like, oh, I'm going to keep weird. Like, when he got to the, after the, like, the Monopoly. Yes. Literally. After the Monopoly uh, explanation, the metaphor, it was mm. just like, all right, why are we still in this room? It was another <laughs> 20 minutes in the movie for, like, legit, More than right there. I think it was, like, maybe 40. Because it was, it was a two-hour movie, bro. <laughs> It was a two-hour movie. I saw when I saw it, an hour and fifty-two minutes. I said, "Oh, people yeah. are gonna be upset." Yeah, niggas gonna yeah. be pissed off. No, it 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 was like if they didn't execute this, like if the pacing wasn't right, people were gonna be upset. If the pacing was good, oh, uh, we cool. Mm -hmm. We we all right, all right. It's cool, but like, damn, that is just like it almost felt like y'all didn't really have nothing to say, or he didn't really have anything to say at the end, because it's like once he like. Uh, the prophet thing goes yeah. down, like he kills her friend or sister Barnes. It's like, all right, that was the worst part of the movie. The like that sister was, Barnes was my favorite fucking character. That was just trash. She was my favorite. She, she was. She was cold. I liked like her. She like she was really keeping up with Hugh Grant, bro. Like she was cooking this dude. I didn't know how to feel when she got a throat slit. I'm just. I was I, like, oh shit. What? Okay. I felt like the movie was about to turn up, and then I was like. Ex what? But then I was like, well, damn, why you kill her, though? <laughs> <laughs> because the other one is dumb. Like, to yeah, say, but I, like he needed another one. I know, I know. Like, I, I get it, I get it. And but that whole that, aspect, that right there. That ruins it. That ruins the just, whole thing. At the end of the day, he just wanted a whole bunch of chicks. That's it. A whole bunch of bitches. It all goes back Excuse to fucking me. polyamorism. It's like, like, and I got, I got, I got. He said that in the beginning, but like, it's just like I feel like the movie was over after the damn Monopoly metaphor. It was. I feel like that was the crescendo of the movie, and with the rest of the shit that was just an afterthought. Like we just don't know what else to do. Somebody was like, he probably, I don't know who wrote this, but I don't know if it was one writer, two writers, three writers. It was two writers. It was two writers. Oh, it was shit. Somebody he needed. So whoever wrote the first half needed help with the second half because he was like, <laughs> hey, this. I need another 30, 45 minutes with this movie. Like, can we, you got something else for me? Cause it was, it was kind of disjointed to me. It was like, no, like lip, like even how, I, I don't like that. They try to like play up on it and have like the character, uh, the other uh, sister, uh, Patterson, whatever her name is. Yeah. And like, tell us like, Oh, you know, like, it feels like you're just, uh, going off script and shit like that. Cause yeah. you're just making shit up. Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. But like y'all wrote this. <laughs> Like y'all, like y'all made the decision to keep this in here, and like it was like, oh, this is cool. This is this is a great way to keep the movie and the plot going and keep people invested as watchers. Even though we had a great right. theological discussion in the first half, now it, it's honestly it's time for some psycho killer shit. I'm like I'm sorry. Like if you're gonna do that, like make it like make yeah. 
Make yeah. the profits go crazy. You know but what I'm saying? instead of the profits being there, I was expecting the house to be the character instead of the profits to be the character. And that's where I was just like, I don't like this movie. Like, let it be a portal to hell. Like, actually, something. Go, hey, it could be cool Dante's like that. Inferno, you know what I mean? It could be cool. something. Something like, else besides him wanting a whole stable of women. Essentially, this is like. Like that's oh all, wow, like, that was. That's all it boiled down to. And it's like, that was it. Feeding these women down here, they're dirty. Cutting their damn fingers off. Fucking crazy down here. I know that they all. They all needed baths. Water, yeah. Actual food. I was and and that after that, I seen that aspect. I was just like, oh, that was the crescendo of the movie right mm -hmm. there. And I was just like, yeah, y'all overhyped this. Y'all didn't use the main uh, a character that y'all should have used even more. That house. Yes. That should have been like the crescendo. That should have been the main main point of the movie. Like to to pivot off from the first half to the second half. That should have been like the main focus of the second half of the movie. For sure. I would. You could have gone down the route of actual places of worship being like where like those entities actually reside, type of thing. Because mm -hmm. that makes more sense, and then then you could actually like. Add in like that Egyptian aspect that they were trying to have in yeah. like, go to like the pyramids and shit like that. Yeah. Like why did they actually build them? Like there's just so many ways. You could have did a lot of things. There was with a this. lot of things that could have been done with this movie. And, and I, that's what I thought was gonna happen with seeing that trailer. Mm -hmm. It was a lot to. It was like oh wow we can. I didn't know. What, I I understand what you mean now. I did not know what to expect, but I did expect more. Yeah, exactly. I just expected yeah. a bit more <laughs> than an old nigga. Uh, <laughs> An old nigga just being mad about old nigga shit. Real like, shit. The buck Real like, shit. He ain't got no bitches. He <laughs> hate the religion he in. He hate all of them. All these niggas trying to take money from him. He's but just like, like wasting mm. his life. Like, Real shit. That's it. It's just the old nigga being mad at old yeah. nigga shit. Real shit. That's all this movie boils down to. Get off my lawn. lawn. Head ass. Sorry, Hugh Grant. <laughs> I love you. I love. Hey, I swear to God, you need to play a villain in the next movie. I'm gonna go watch it because I, I can. Like Bro, you need you movie. need to be a villain in a movie with actual motivation, yeah, backstory, yeah. yeah, and like some type of development. You need to be in the next James Bond movie as a villain. I mm. ain't gonna lie, cold shit. Mm. Just saying, that would be cold as fuck. Like, I got see why you did it because I'm sure the script was probably interesting to you. Yeah, and you might have gotten a different version because it'd be hard for me to like get to the end of these movies. Yeah, and, like. Feel like y'all were like y'all read the same thing that I just watched. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> I, I and that's I could tell some. Well, I can't tell, but I I think there were some changes. There had to have been that pacing in the first half. Hugh Grant was killing that shit. He Bro, was eating that shit. And I'm like, yeah, line. he was uh, cooking that. Uh, Every uh. single line of dialogue that came out of this expressions, man's mouth. facial expressions on point. It was just like it was, was a masterclass. Even when um. Sister Barnes first asked about his wife. Yeah. He did that tick. I was like, oh, yeah. 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 That's yeah. what I came for. This is shit I wanted to see. Yep. But just a waste of a performance, honestly. <laughs> I hate to say that, but it was. Like, I ain't gonna lie. It, like, was, it, was, a, it was a big waste. But I don't know. Maybe it's, like we really like movies. Yeah. You know I, mean? I don't, yeah. don't want to be like too much of a snob and shit like that. Because I know there are going to be people who like it. Because everyone hasn't thought these things before. And for some people, these are like the first time that they're being introduced to some of these thoughts and like ideas and themes. So that's what a lot of you are going to gravitate towards. Yeah. But I do feel like movies need to be movies again and have a beginning, middle and an ending. Yeah. And I don't it's it's hard for me to want to keep supporting some of these people doing their thing when it's like y'all are giving up midway through. Like legitimately midway through when yeah. a lot of us would die to, to be on one film. That's true. <laughs> That's true. No, real shit. Like, real shit. Would die to be a part of one film. I, I don't know. I get you. I get you. I I just think I don't know. For for those who liked it, shout out to you. You liked it. For those who didn't, I think I know why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know why. You were just expecting like Alon said. I didn't know what to expect, but I was expecting a lot more. Especially off that trailer, it was just it left so much to 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 the imagination, and it was like, well, I don't know. If I had wrote it, that second half would have been a little different. That's all I'm gonna say. A lot scarier. A lot scarier. 
Because like and a lot more imaginative. It was just like we didn't have to just stop at this no. juncture. It was it, I don't know. I feel like it was kind of low hanging fruit. Like a, it was just little, like yes. oh. It was like what? It takes away from the whole conversation, and like I think that's an important conversation to have because like a lot of you, I'm I, I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but like a lot of you are Jesus nuts for no reason. Yeah. You don't know why. You don't actually <laughs> believe in anything in that book for real or any of its teachings or like honestly like I don't think you even believe that Jesus Christ was a real person. My folks probably even read the book. Type shit. To be you honest. haven't. I know you haven't. I know you have not. Shout out to those who <laughs> have read their particular holy text. Exactly. Shout out to y'all. Any, or any holy text. In general, for that matter. Or people who do the work and actually like research yeah. and like try to find an answer for themselves. Shout out to you. But a lot of you are not those people that we just described. So I don't, I don't know. I think in terms of the movie, the genre of horror does need to be respected, and you can't yeah, you, you can't, can't throw keep that label. Calling psychological thrillers, honestly, just let's throw that word out the fucking window. It's not 2016. Hereditary, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Hereditary did not it's just not. fucking come out, bro. Like uh, we get it. Hey, like we fucking get it. A lot of you like to be thoughtfully scared. Yeah. <laughs> but if you gonna do it. Do it right. Exactly. That's it. That's all. Otherwise, say. throw in a monster, throw in somebody with a scary mask, and a, a throw a couple of demonic entities in there. Some horrible some, disfiguration. Yeah. Something. A portal leading somewhere else. You know what I mean? Like some titties. Because that, like, I'm sorry. That's that what horror requires. Some tit some nice titties. A young 24 year old actress. You know nice, what I'm saying? Nice size titties. Naturals. Naturals. Classic horror. Real shit. Classic horror movie. I, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see y'all next time. Appreciate y'all. Peace. Be easy.